Hi, uh, in this class we are going to discuss about uh, history of class uh, 6 uh, NCRT that is CBSC. So it will be our past. Okay, so you should have this book with you. Okay, the book is our past uh, one. Uh, it's a textbook in history for class 6. Okay, it is also known as uh, social science. So in the this class we will discuss uh, what are the content which is available in this uh, book then each uh, content each chapter will go in detail okay so have this book okay if you don't have this book then in the description i have given the pdf link you can download you can also download this in our telegram channel okay so this book was first published in 2006 and uh, they are reprinting it after it okay so this book is a wonderful book to start with history uh, history actually talks about what happened in the past okay what is yesterday what happened till yesterday is a history what is going to happen tomorrow is a future so understanding the history is important to understand the future to predict the uh, future okay so this is uh, for the students of uh, kendra vidyalaya okay and uh, any other schools which is having cbse syllabus they can utilize this class okay so this is a sixth standard in Seattle. So we have a national anthem also. Everybody should know our national anthem and give respect to our national anthem. Okay. So why uh, study history? This uh, year, the class six, you will read history. It is a part of bigger group of subject known as social science. Okay. So earlier it was known as social science. It was social science inside that history, geography and civics civics means indian constitution that was present now they have separated into history separately geography separately and the polity that is civics separately they have kept it so why should we read history okay as i said earlier uh, understanding the history is important to predict the future or understand the present okay that means we should not repeat the mistakes by the people who have done the mistake in the past social science helps us understand the working of the social world it tells us about geography the way of economy works and the manner in which the social and the political life is organized most part of the social science other than history tell you about the world in the present okay so other than history and if you talk about the geography you talk about civics they tell things about the present but history talks about something happened in the past history will help you understand how this present evolved okay how the present status how we um, became india or how uh, this uh, country was created how this world was created all this uh, you know in historically they are talking about in the history it will tell you about the past of the present it will tell you about the past of the present so underline that word it will tell you the past of the present when we live in a society we become used to the world around us we begin to take that world for granted we prof we forget that life will not always the way we see it can you for instance imagine a life without fire okay now fire is this is just a click away you get a fire no but that itself discovery of fire itself was a long process for the humankind <laughs> okay so they were using the two rocks they will you know they will um, you know you know hit the two rocks and from the rocks only they used to take a fire okay can you think of what is to live in a society where cultivation of crops was unknown people did were gather gatherers they were hunters they were not they were not used to do agriculture okay so now today we can we talk about uh, life without agriculture without um, food items without uh, uh, wheat without paddy and all okay so that is the uh, past in past all this have been discovered what is to live at a time when roads and railways did not exist and you traveled long distances so today we have roadways railways aeroplanes all these are available but in the past all these were not available people used to walk long distances thousand kilometer they will walk history can take us into this past so understand this what how the evolved present you have to understand the future history is a sense is an adventure it is journey across time and space it transports us into another world another age in which people lived differently so how the people lived in that those there are like 100 years 200 years 1000 years 
ओके फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इयर्स सो बिफोर प्रेसेंट ओके हाउ पीपल लिव्ड एंड दे लिव डिफरेंटली नॉट द वे टुडे वी हैव गॉट इंटरनेट टुडे वी हैव गॉट मोबाइल दोज थिंग्स वर नॉट अवेलेबल एंड यू मैट हैव सीन इन बाहुबली दैट दिस वन नो हाउ द कम्युनिकेशन इज सेंट अगेन दे गो इन हॉर्स दोज थिंग्स दिस इकोनॉमी एंड सोसाइटी देयर बिलीफ एंड फेथ देयर क्लोथ एंड फूड how what did they eat okay what is the clothing they did their settlement the building how the building was there what is the art and craft everything was different history can open door in such a world yeah you may uh, strung your shoulder and say why should we bother about past that no longer with this past that have gone by okay so sometimes people think that why should i read a history something happened already it is not going to repeat and all that is not true history repeats always hmm? but history is not just about the past it is about the present the society we live in which uh, which has been fashioned by the those who can came to before us the joy and sorrow of daily life their attempt to grapple with the problems of them uh time they discover is invention slowly transformed human societies these changes were often so gradual so seemingly small that their impact was not noticed by the people at the time only later when we return to the past we have to um, when we study history we have to begin to see how these changes happen and how can we observe their long term effect but by reading history we can understand how the modern world has a much long centuries of development so to understand today we should understand the history okay one more page is there okay you can read this what they are going to take about talk about uh, now let me talk into the details of the content which is present in the this book which will be very very useful okay so for the uh, exam point of view you can score very really good if you understand the and this one so when when you when you guys are free you can go through this class and you can read this don't wait for the class to be taken then you read this this is this is something you have to learn appreciate yourself and you know you have to use this in your uh, daily life okay so understand you can use these are the examples which is available in this okay so let us start so these are the content which is what are the chapters available uh, see what do you see here is you no know, is is actually coin okay this is actually a uh, coin Uh, this coin will be a very old coin so it should be it could have mailed in gold and all okay so that is how this is coming now um so why should a history why study history that we have seen already so what are the other chapters what where how and when that means what happened and where it happened and how how it happened and when happened all this is a beginning of the history that we will read in the first chapter the second chapter on the trial of the earliest people okay so earliest people means those people who are, see you know that you you already might, might know that the human beings have come from them uh, monkeys only so monkeys have evolved into a human beings so when the earliest people were there okay when the earliest people were what are the trials they did what are the things they experimented okay those things will be studying in the second chapter then third chapter we will be talking about gatherers <laughs> yeah third chapter is actually yeah here uh, yeah i have the chapter this might be changing in your new book okay just see that uh, from gathering to the uh, growing food okay gathering to the growing food uh, that is second chapter so what is that gathering to growing food uh is like see uh, we did not know how to cultivate the wheat how to cultivate the paddy rice and all agriculture uh, people did not know okay so what they will do is they will go to the forest they will collect the uh, whatever is available roots fruits vegetables they will simply collect and they will come and use it from there they started growing food they started doing agriculture so how did that happen that we'll see in the earliest city in the earliest city we'll discuss about the Uh, harappans okay harappan that means india's oldest civilization around 5000 4700 years ago okay in the in the place called harappa mohenjodaro uh, today's pakistan how people when it was a very good they used bricks and all so those those civilization we will be talking about that is what earliest city then what books and burials tell us okay so what are the books written okay and uh, this is manuscripts is there uh, manuscript means hand written okay so they will be written in the palm leaf okay. then burial how the people are burying the dead body 
okay dead body is buried with the food and water and all because people believed that there's exist some world after them um death also okay then comes the kingdoms uh, kings and earless republic okay what are the kingdoms evolved that we will discuss earliest kingdom mahajanapadas magadhas mauryas hmm, those things and all we will discuss about okay uh, then comes new questions and ideas then comes very important chapter called ashoka ashoka is the greatest um, you know king ever we had in india okay so he was a very good warrior but he gave up the violence he become buddhist he started spreading the message of buddhism across the world okay that happened after the kalinga war so that we will discuss then vital village is thriving towns okay then traders uh, kings and pilgrims okay, that means uh, what is the trading people where are they coming from what are the trading they are what are they selling what they are buying Uh, what are the kings and pilgrimage means uh, the holy places okay badrinath kedarnath mecca okay those kind of uh, holy places we will discuss new empires and new kingdom buildings and paintings okay so these are the uh, chapters okay uh, in some book there will be 12 chapters some books there are 11 uh, chapters okay depending upon what is there in your school book which is being taught you can uh, use this as the Uh, your class okay so this is what we are going to discuss okay all the chapters i'll be covering okay please subscribe to our channel okay please share to among your friends okay they'll be very useful any doubts you can call me 99591618 is my number or the, you can also send me a message or mail me the descriptions all the details are given wish you all the best thank you